Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shadora Door. Should have come back to you with episode 30 of Direwolf 20's 1.19 mod pack. And today, we are going to quickly make a dissolution chamber because I lied last episode. I do need this uh, for add ons because we actually need range add ons. So, range add ons basically increase the range of effectiveness of most machines in uh, industrial foregoing. For example, the plant sower, and the plant gatherer only harvest one block by default, I believe. Um, and increasing the range will allow for you to, you know, basically increase range, harvest range, planting range, whatever. Uh, but we do need a few things. So I don't remember fully what size we need for a farm like this. So we're going to probably build a few of these and see which one works. So let's go with the biggest first. So we'll need iron nuggets. So four of these. Uh, glass pane. I think we can just use these. And what else was that? Uh, add on. Need to bookmark it. Doodly do. Redstone. Okay. So the other thing is I kind of forgot to place logs real quick. Let me do this. Do I have any acacia? I was just kind of curious. I don't actually have any acacia. Might be a tree I need to harvest up sooner or later. All right, so we'll place a log there. Place a log here, and I'm actually going to take this tank for a second because it's got what I need, and we'll just pop back over to the house. All right, so two of this, two of these... Four of these, and then just right-click with that. We should have everything. We can just do uh, output, no, fluid input. That should work, right? Am I, lo am I losing it? Four iron nuggets, 1,000 latex, that's 4,000. Okay, so these panes won't work. They aren't or dictionary or uh, forge tags. So, glass pane. Dang it, I was hoping I could just use those up. But it's okay. We're fine. Alright, let's pick this bad boy back up. And it probably got picked up by this. Cool. Uh, so that's a range 4. Now let's actually grab the other machines here, which are actually in my... Backpack. I use this bag to actually keep track of uh, stuff I want to do. Uh, hence why there's still all of the stuff up here. So. Okay. So we're going to go over here. And I actually want to make this self-sufficient. I will be um, doing that in this episode. So we may not get to Ars Nueva um, this episode. Like actually fully getting Ars Nueva done. Uh, but, you know sacrifices right let's see here so oh come on system's not opening hello why are you not why are you not working Everything else is opening. What did... What just happened? Um... It's like F22, I think. Hello? Well, I'm not even sure. No, it's not even open in here. All right, let's actually just toss this back in the security terminal. No? It's just absolutely not working. Let me re-log real quick. So I guess I just broke it. I legitimately have no idea 
Um, I mean, we could craft a new terminal, see if that fixes anything, but I really doubt anything would actually happen. Um, I, I just literally have nothing. I don't 100% know what happened. Dude, why did you just say you're out? That There's some things going on that I'm not sure I understand what's happening here. Did I not put a storage bus on this? No, there's a storage bus right there. There is no storage bus right there. You know, I messed up. Oops. Hold up. So doing this, I actually messed up a little bit here. Let's actually fix this real quick while we're here. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and diagnose that off camera later. I'm not really too, too worried about it right now. We'll just keep popping back and forth if I need to. So uh, we will grab some cable. But I just installed a new wireless card. And maybe that's why. Because I got the dimensional one. Let's actually do the infinite one. Here, hold on. So I still have this one. I wouldn't think this would do anything, but you never know. Nope. Okay. Nope, got nothing. Nothing at all. Alright, so there's that. And that should hook up the dust. Oh my goodness. Everything's going wrong all of a sudden. Here, hold up. <laughs> okay. So, we've got the range upgrade. What did we need? Completely spaced on it now. So, we need... Aha, I fixed it. So, I actually just crafted a whole new terminal. And now it works. I don't 100% know what happened. I just trashed the other one. Since I couldn't do anything with it. But let's get back to what we were doing. Right? So what I want to do real quick is actually make our power system for this farm. Right? I love doing this. I love making self-sustaining farms because it's interesting. Right? Um, and the way we're going to do this is actually with bread. You know, of all things, bread. That is what we're going to use to make power. And by doing this... We need a culinary mycelial generator. This is probably the best option because if you use the gourmand dynamo, it actually is not a whole lot of power compared to the culinary one. So this actually has a 40 second time and it produces 48 FE a tick. Well, this one just produces 8,000 overall of its lifespan. It doesn't actually tell you anything other than that. So I'm going to go for more over time. Which may be a problem, but who knows. So we actually need the dissolution chamber here. Because we need to make a um, simple machine frame. Right? So the simple machine frame requires a pity frame. Uh, pity. Machine frame. Okay, so I don't have any in here. I thought I made an extra one, but apparently I didn't. Uh, and then we'll need nether brick. One, two, iron. Let's see, where is iron? There it is. Gold. And then plastic. So we'll need to pop out to the farm. So let's go to Dave's home. Go to farm. And let's grab the plastic we need here. So one, two. Perfect. Grabbed three, but that's all right. And what we should now do is just make a simple machine frame. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Doesn't actually matter the order. Actually, I need a gold gear, not gold. And one. What else was it? Oh, the actual pity machine frame. All right. So you can also get add-ons for this, which are the bottom ones the uh so i didn't say this last time but there's speed efficiency and processing which need the actual dissolution chamber 
Um, we could make these since we have access to latex, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Uh, let's see here. So the mycelial generator. So I'm hoping one of these will work, but if it doesn't, oh well. So we actually need a steak. Do I have raw anything in here? I do. Let's actually just cook up some raw beef. Perfect. And then we'll make the generator. All right. So let's see here. So basically we need an also a way to craft this as well. So what do we got for crafters? Refined storage, sequen sequential fabricator. Let's actually check this out. So copper gear. Machine frames, we need 10. And then should just be able to auto craft that real quick. There we go. So sequential fabricator. I don't actually know what this is. So what we should be able to do is place this right here. Okay. Water. Uh, insert items into the grid to set a crafting recipe. Simply press the confirm button and walk away. All right, so let's grab some wheat here. One, two, three. Confirm. So if this gets thrown in here, of course, we need power. Uh, we're actually going to do laser I.O. for this as well. So at laser, uh, we'll need a few more laser nodes. Probably just two, right? And then laser connector. Actually, let's make a third. Uh, maybe we only need two, but that's okay. So the way we're going to do this is actually not placing this here. Hold on. So we need a drawer system first off. Because we're we're going to get seeds and we're going to get wheat, right? So the seeds, I want to be put probably right here. And then the wheat, let's put this to the side. And actually, we don't need these here, I guess. Because we're going to be just using a drawer a controller, probably. I mean, that's kind of a waste, isn't it? But... That's okay. Drawer at functional storage controller, not not drawer controller. I don't understand why it's not called drawer controller, but it's okay. So we'll put that there, and then I guess for seeds, we actually can just put this under, and this actually will just get a void upgrade. So we'll do gold upgrade. Nope. Gold upgrade. And then a void upgrade. So that way we can have plenty of seeds in here. But also just void after the fact, right? I think that makes the most sense. So we can have uh, wheat seed. So that'll be 32,000 wheat seeds. That's perfect. Um, and then, of course, we'll want our... Linking tool, configuration card. Nope, that's the wrong configuration card here. I need this configuration card. Perfect. So we'll lock that. This, there. Hold on, let's do single. There we go. No. There we go. Man, I it's so confusing sometimes with this. But then we'll grab a piece of dirt. Where is my... I really should, like, see if I can actually name these things so I don't have to keep just searching for them. Still haven't done that after all this time. Okay. And then up top here, we'll have our wheat. And I guess, actually, we could do... The, uh... I don't know what happened to the other drawer. I guess I may have used it. Anyway. So we'll just do wheat. Confirm. Link. Perfect. And then of course laser I.O. I probably could just move this back one. You know what? Let's try that. Before we do all this complicated like laser I.O. stuff. 
Oh, no, because I need power. Yep, let's keep it then. Okay. We'll need to put power and everything into this. So. Makes sense, right? So, functional fabricator thing here. So, we'll input from there. Output to the back. We'll put the generator here. Either that or we can just pipe stuff in. Yeah, let's just pipe stuff in like this. So I'm, I'm coming up with this on the fly, by the way. I really don't know what I'm doing. If you guys couldn't tell. I always kind of do this just to give a little bit more authentic experience. And also just because I really never know what I'm doing. So, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, let's see. So now let's grab our card reader or card holder and see what cards we have. So we have energy, but we don't have any item. So let's actually grab some item cards. So one, two, oh no, don't stack. And we'll just toss these in. And then let's actually grab some overclocks. Overclock. So these, we're actually gonna need more energy cards as well because I have one more machine that I need to power. So I need four instead of three. Well, let's just actually grab a couple of these, you know? All right, so we toss these in here. And so for this direction, we're going to want to input power, right? And also extract items. So extract, uh, what do we want to extract here? So filter. Probably need a few more filters. And I actually don't have a piece of bread. Oh, yeah, I do. What am I saying? I'm a hoarder. Let's see here. So we should be able to extract, filter, bread. And then in here, we'll just do item card. And then also energy card, extract, um, this, this. We really don't need to overclock these, but that is okay. You know. All right, so we're putting power in, we're pushing bread out, uh, and then here we'll want to do energy card, extract, this, this, and then here we'll do uh, item card, and then we're going to do a different channel. So we're going to do one, just so make sure nothing flies in here. Uh, well, actually, there is no need for this, but it's okay. So we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I guess there is actually a thing for this, because if we're running that over there, we need to also have um, multiple lasers going into that one. I think we can do that. Not even sure. So item card, extract, um, I guess everything. So that doesn't matter. And then, of course, we'll do channel one. And then, of course, energy card. Insert. Perfect. Let's actually quickly just sleep through the night here. Because I'm actually close to the border of the Mega Torch that's over here. So, you know, don't want anything creeping in on me real quick. So, alrighty. Now we need to go under. So, let's actually just mine some blocks here. So, we want to go down one more. So, we get to the plant sower. And we should just be able to laser node this. And laser connection. So, at laser IO... Or do I have them? Okay, I actually have them on me. And then laser wrench. So this from here to here to here to here. And then on the opposite side, which is east, we want energy card. Apparently, I actually need another item card as well. So we don't need to change anything. So item card. Well, I guess actually... Oh, I guess we could extract out of this. There's no problem with that. So hold on. So east, this, insert, filter. Um, we need a seed, a single seed. So east, item card, insert, allow, perfect. And then, of course, the energy should be fine. All right, and then we'll also extract 
out of here, we want to go east, right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. West. Okay, so west is what we want. So we want another item card. So we can just extract out of this item card. We'll do channel two. Extract this filter. And then, of course, a single seed. It's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be, but that's all right. So east, item card, channel two. But that should work. All right. So now what we should have is basically a complete system. Not 100% sure, but we'll see. So let's actually grab, I guess we could throw a piece of bread in here and see what happens. So everything should be getting power. This is kind of the test. Everything should be getting power. Um, we actually probably want to come in here and do round robin true. So everything gets shared power. Okay. And then we could probably, we'll probably need to jumpstart this just a bit more. So let's actually grab a little bit more bread. There we go. Actually, everything, the, the stack I threw in here is actually starting to fill it. So we've got bread becoming power. And sooner or later, oh yeah, the range upgrade. Hold up. So the range upgrade, if we click show working area, this is what I mean by one. And that's the exact same thing for this, right? So we'll actually need another range upgrade if this one works. But here's our range upgrade. Okay, so four is perfect. So now what we need to do is actually make another range tier four. I'm going to do that real quick off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, so the plant gatherer has its range upgrade. And now what we should be able to do is actually come in here with these uh, ergonomic source links and kind of figure out how to do this properly. So... These cover a five block radius. I'm not sure if that's all around here. Let's actually check. So uh, source will be output from source link to a nearby jars within five blocks. So this actually is not the correct thing that I was thinking. So this actually just says the source block. So we need to I think put one here, put one here. Oh, no, nope, not there. I forget there's no plant there. Let's actually grab some more seeds so we can actually get a full full farm here. So seeds, we'll just toss in a stack. And then we'll also grab... Actually, we have source jars. So I want to put a source jar here, 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 and here. Oh, and then over here. But I've got four of these links just because that'll be easier, right? So yes, it looks like it covers a wide range, but symmetric. You know, that's okay. And then of course, if we grab a little bit more seeds to keep going with this. Okay, so you're just not planting for some reason. Um, and then of course, if we grab a time torch and we place a block in the center here. We should have it grow a little bit quicker. So it looks like it's actually not that effective in a range. Because, I mean, that's definitely producing, right? But I don't know if that's what I really want. Because at the end of the day, it's only doing that area. And also, that just harvested that block. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Alright, so we'll place down a piece of cobblestone here. Why are you not planting? Guess you just need a speed upgrade, don't you? Yeah, you need a speed and efficiency. We'll get those sooner or later. But we should have jars being filled all around. So this one's 0% full. Oh, come on. I really hate the stupid torch thing. Anyway. Let's see here. So we got 13% full on that one. All right. But I mean, this is the farm. Right? This is our, our source farm for now. Uh, of course, I do want to get a tree farm. I think, oh, well, I kind of want to do that now. 
but I don't fully think I need it right now, but I guess we'll see. Um, and of course, if we grab the force craft infuser, I think I have that on me. Yep. And then a uh, flux point, which I should also have on me. We could probably make a couple more time torches, even if they're not the greatest. Um, experience tome. Do I have that on me? It's like a blue book. No, I think it's actually back in the base. Uh, main. I think it's over here. It's this thing right here. And then if we grab some forced gems while we're down here. Which I don't really have a whole lot left. Uh, Dave's home. Farms. Alright. So we have everything we need besides clocks I think. Right? So clock. And then the actual force craft torches. The force torch. So this. 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 And this. We actually only need one of these. And we'll get another time torch. And then the another time torch. Oh, that's the wrong torch. Hold on. Force torch. There we go. So I think if we put one, could I actually put one right here? Would that do anything? No, it doesn't look like it would. Okay, so if I put one under, would, would that function? Could I put them under? All right, as long as we don't hit the farmland, right? So right here, could I put this right here? Would this work? Okay, that will not work. Alright. So if I put that right there. Right there. Okay, I can see this working. Alright, let's see. So we just do a few more of these. Man, I really wish that this would actually be a bit smarter with its recipes. <laughs> but, you know, oh well. I just need to stop being so lazy, apparently, and just one by one it. Even though I don't want to do that. Also, you can never auto-craft these, which is which is sad to me. In all, all honesty, I can't auto-craft time torches. When I'll actually need these for entities, by the way. Um, if this actually ever does get fixed, you know... Man, this, this area is going to cause lag, by the way, I would assume. So that's going to be interesting. But if I put four time torches, it's going to reach everything but like these corner blocks here. And then I'm pretty sure this, and this, and then that one, and then that one. But uh, yeah, this would definitely, definitely increase a lot of things. So it looks like I do need to uh, get some speed and efficiency upgrades, right? And then from there, I think we should be good with a source farm, you know, for now. Speed and efficiency. So a speed and efficiency add-on. These aren't that expensive because we've already got decent chunks of stuff. So this is a speed one. So two gears, two sugar, two glass paints, two redstone, and then latex in the center. Uh, efficiency, of course, two blaze rods, two diamond gears, two glass panes and some redstone. Uh, I won't do processing on these because there's no real point, I don't think. So, you know, let me grab these. I'm going to grab two of each and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we have the speed. There we go. And then efficiency. And then we'll have to go down here to get the other one. So here, speed, efficiency. Perfect. And you can see that this should be much quicker. Uh, we probably could get the processing upgrade for this one, but I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, also, these tanks in here, sludge. Sludge can actually be used in a sludge refinery, um, which will produce, you know, some various blocks. Dirt, clay, gravel, sand, red sand, soul sand, and that's about it. But it's not really anything you need to worry about if it's in the machine. Uh, and this is actually for aether gas, this bottom tank. I don't remember what it actually does, but it does some things. <laughs> but, you know. Alright, so why are you not pulling out fast enough? 
Okay, that's why. So let's actually do this, do this, and do this. And you should just be empty. Perfect. So it should just be able to cruise, never have anything in its inventory. Um, yeah, these time torches are making this thing struggle, aren't they? <laughs> that's okay, though. Maybe a processing upgrade or two might not be a bad idea. But we got one tank, two tank, three tank. Oh, man, I can't make a Dr. Seuss rhyme. I was going to say one tank, two tank, three tank, four. But, uh, no. Uh, but we are filling up a decent amount of these tanks. I think this is actually going to be a pretty decent farm uh, for now. Of course, I want to get more time torches. That would be awesome. They just take some time to get. Of course, because I have to... Uh, Put one clock in at a time. Let's see. Can I actually do... Can I, like, scroll this in? Oh, I can. Okay, so just hold the clock. There we go. And I probably don't have a lot of liquid force left either. I don't have a lot of force gems. So... Nope, I'm out of force gems. All right, so we got five torches here. So let's just put one here, one here, one here, one here. Oh, no, not right there. One here and one here. There we go. Everything. Oh, look at all those particle effects, man. All the particle effects in the world. Oh, man. So we actually do have four full jars. Looks like we're filling up this one now. And then we'll probably fill up that one, then that one, and then that one. All right. And with that, we are going to wrap up today's episode. So we've got Ars Nueva source farm stuff done. Um, we will probably be doing a little bit more with this um, in the future. But for now, we have source. We can move on in the next episode with Ars Nueva. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.